And uh, we're, we're just um, we're just getting ready to feel the spooky you know scares you know is, right? as we get further into Halloween season. I'm so excited. Okay. For this. Fox 40's senior scare correspondent, terrified Tony Salazar, standing by to sneak peek at Sacramento <sighs> Scream Park. You got this, bro. You got this, man. <laughs> You're so lucky you're in the studio, Melanie and Richard. I am literally shaking up, looking over my back. I don't know who's coming through, and I just want to get out of here. But, of course, we are here, and it's, it makes sense why they're rated among the most scariest haunted houses in California. Joining us this morning is Danny. Danny, thanks for being here. I mean... Wow, what a scare. Talk to me more about what's differently this year before we go in. So this year we we setting up a uh, dark museum or dark carnival. So a little different, <laughs> little new. Okay. You know, we try and change stuff up every year. So this year we changed up one of the haunts to a dark carnival. Give people a little bit of grief. Right, you and, know, it's so, and, and, and it's so hard to focus right now because I'm literally, okay, here we go. Which attraction are we starting off with so, right now? This is the first room at the Dark Carnival. This is basically a food court. Uh, Jesus, okay. And so um, you have four attractions you're telling me here, right? Hi, yes, Tommy, we have four attractions nice here. You. We have uh, Blackwater Boneyard, <laughs> the uh -huh. Iron Bell Asylum. This is Silverthorne uh, Amusement Park, and then we have the Classroom of Chaos. And just so I know, they're not supposed to touch you, right? I mean, right. I'm, okay, okay, because no, I, I feel like they're like right in front of me, they're about to touch me. We get close, they get close, but they won't touch okay. you. Okay, and something else I want to ask you, Denny. Oh, no, please don't. Ah. Okay, something else I want to ask you, Denny. For scaredy cats like me, how do you guys cater to them? So we have... We have no oh. scare medallions for people that are scared, okay. which will keep the actors back away <laughs> from whoever's wearing the medallion. I'm okay, I am okay. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. We're gonna move oh, ahead. You know no, I don't. Nice. No, let's move on, Denny, over here because this is a room that I like for now until something pops up and scares me. But D Denny, I also want to ask you more about what makes this. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Uh, okay, what's okay? What else is different this year? Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought here, Denny. <laughs> So yeah, and we also created, that's not true. So we also created a uh, neighborhood this year. Oh, right at, at, the, at the end of the last haunt, used to be a dark <sighs> hallway out. So we filled that in, added a whole section to it, more animatronics, more scares. And the biggest question of all this morning, what time are you open and on what days? Because you guys are literally already ready to go to get your scare on. Yes, we've been open to, for the last two Saturdays, but we open from the 4th to the 2nd, except for the first three Tuesdays. Um, days and times change, you can check our website, but it's generally 7 o'clock to 10 during the week, and I think it's like 5.30 to midnight on the weekends. And lastly, as we wrap this up, I'm just curious, this is a really big haunted house. You're going through four different attractions. Where do you and the team get these ideas from? It's a team effort. We have set designers, People come up with different ideas and we try and make it all, bring it all together. You know, once they get it figured out, they give it to me and we figure out how, how to bring it to reality. Awesome. Make you feel like you're actually in it instead of looking at it. Awesome. And I know there are some days you guys open as early as around 5.30 to uh, some other days you guys are open to about 7 p.m. Right. Starting. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Usually the weekends we open earlier and stay, stay later. During the week, it's usually 7 to 10. And if you are looking for some Halloween plans, well, guess what? They're also open on Halloween. I highly recommend it, <laughs> but again, I'm going to send things back over to the studio so I can get out of this place and back to ride, the new studio where you guys are at with no scares Tony. in your way. Guys, I'll send it back to you in the studio. <laughs> they just want to be your friend, Tony. Oh, Tony's reaction is that he's like, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's make him go through the whole what thing. Let's sport, go. Man. Go. Continue. Yeah, I go get on. Out of here.